everybody and welcome back to Clark's Corner. A couple of weeks ago I put part one of the hundred questions that no one asks video out here on my channel and I figured that I would do part two right now and this video is you're seeing this on a Monday I'm so sorry that it's up late like super late but I tried to figure out if there was going to be any sun or any like, you know, breaks or whatever today because I was actually going to film this outside in the same location that I filmed part one. But then we had a bit of rain today. Sorry, I'm just going to bring you guys down a little bit more. That's better. We had a little bit of rain, so it was kind of like doing that on and off all day. So it's about 10.02 p.m or 10.01 p.m. here in Newfoundland and I figured that I would just, you know, film inside. So, so sorry that it's not outside like I planned, but it's going to be up on scheduled day. So, this is part two of the hundred questions that no one asks. It's not like a tag video. I'm not going to tag anybody in it. I just found this on Pinterest and I thought maybe this would be a cute little video idea and I'm doing up angle today. I don't know if you guys watch Joshua Evans, Joshua D-Town or something or DTV or something like that. He married Colleen Ballinger who is also Miranda Sings. Well he has like this shirt called it up, like it's like up angles. So. I have you guys on the tripod. I was going to put you guys over there on the floor and do it that way. But this is just a new little, you know, way of doing things without having to really set up anything. And currently, where it is a little later, I kind of just want to get this video done and I want to get it up and uploaded for all of you guys because, quite frankly, I need to get back into the swing of things because I've been taking some time off. Like, I put a couple of videos out in the last week or so. But those were like sporadic videos and I really need to get back into the swing of things and do my three videos a week because quite frankly if you slip off the trails or off the track sometimes it's hard to get actually back on there. So instead of having this train derail and like me like you know not like doing good or what not with this channel. Um, or like keeping myself on scheduled Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, I will, you know, I will just continue doing what I'm doing. Like I will get back into the swing of things. I don't want this train to derail. I don't want to have a T-bone accident. You know what I mean? So let's go and get this video started. These are questions from question number 51 to question number 100. Some of the questions in this slot I actually had to change around because they were kind of like some questions that I had answered in my like, you know, new YouTubers tag and like my other videos. So therefore, like they're like, you know, those type of questions. Like I don't want to have to repeat them. I'm so sorry. I'm my own camera girl. <laughs> you know, I sit up and I take down, but it's okay. So let's get this video started, shall we, before it gets any later, because quite frankly, the husband has work tomorrow, he has to go to bed so soon, in probably an hour or so, so I want to kind of get that, you know, uploaded within the hour or so. And me, I'm a night owl, so quite frankly, I'm up most of the night, so I don't know, here we go. The last photo taken by a photographer. The last photo taken by a photographer, I think I was in school, quite frankly. My old friend Melanie, she went and she actually, um, she took our engagement photos and I actually have those listed like down, not below in the comment section or the description. They're actually, you know, in a slideshow presentation here on YouTube. Actually, I will link that down below. So, I'm going to write a link. I will actually link that down below um, so you guys can look at our engagement photos. But the last, like, photo really taken by a photographer would probably have to be, like, in school because, quite frankly, I, we never got professional photos of me and my husband. 
so yeah it will be in high school for my graduation so that's cool do you think musicals are cheesy not at all I love musicals that I find them nice and relaxing I like to go along with the you know the songs or whatever if I know the songs and whatnot so yeah I don't think musicals are cheesy I love musicals I did a couple of volunteering with musicals and stuff like that it's just really it's something that I like so I don't know I'm a musical person too myself I like write my own songs and I do some singing and stuff like that so yeah musicals are not cheesy to me is Christmas stressful only if you want to make it stressful I you know I think that Christmas can be stressful if you put the stress upon yourself so no Christmas is not stressful do you eat pierogies yes I really love pierogies I don't like them boiled in a pot with water or oil or whatever you do I like them baked in the oven and I like them crispy like it's just like a potato nugget to me so yeah I do eat pierogies favorite fruit pie I like Hmm. I like cherry pie, I like apple pie, I like lemon meringue pie. Blueberry pie would have to be my favorite because it's like one of those pies that are, oh, they're only like out like for a certain point of the year because blueberries are a seasonal thing. They just come back every season. So yeah, I like blueberry pie. Childhood dream jobs. Let's see. I wanted to be a minister at one point in time. I wanted to be a teacher at one point in time. I wanted to be like a nurse or a doctor at one point in time. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes and no. It depends on like where I'm to and like what like the situation is and like you know like how like um where I'm to and like if like there's people that are telling ghost stories maybe I will like believe that but yeah it's like an, a 50 50 yes and no type of thing do you ever have a deja vu a deja vu is where when where when is where like something happens again and it's the same thing that happened the last time so yeah I do have deja vus all the time do you take vitamins daily nope but when I was pregnant I did have to take a multivitamin or a prenatal and folic acid but I'm no, I do not take no vitamins daily now. Do you wear slippers? Yes, I do. I actually have a pair in the living room, but I wear socks too sometimes. But my other slippers that I had, I had to flick them out in the garbage because they were getting old. <clears throat> but now I'm wearing slippers that I got received for Christmas as a Christmas gift. And I love slippers. Like, if you don't have slippers and I'm walking in your house, like, I better be wearing my shoes or something like that. I don't know, it's just like, your feet touch the floor and your slippers, they kind of like give like a barrier between the floor and your foot, so, it's like, <clears throat> I don't know, it's like something like, I'm a bit of a clean freak, like, dirty floors are like my biggest pet peeve, and I think that was the question in the last one, and it's just like, ugh, so I, yeah, slippers, I do wear slippers. <clears throat> Walmart, Target, and Kmart. I would go to Walmart. Target's a bit expensive, quite frankly. They took all of the Targets out of Canada, and they took the Kmarts out of Canada too. And because Kmart was on, or Zellers bought Kmart, and then Target bought Zellers. So quite frankly, we lost like three businesses. So quite frankly, yeah, I'd rather go to Walmart any day anyway because their prices are a lot more cheaper. And, I don't know, it's like more appealing to me and their clothes and everything that they have has like a better quality type of thing in that store. So yeah, Walmart. What do you wear to bed? It's kind of like the same um, question that I answered in one of the tag videos I did not too long ago. I wear just my nightdress and the other day, I'm actually in my pajamas right now, the other day I fell asleep in these. I don't know, it's just like I was so tired. I actually lid on top of the bed and under one cover, like my fleece little throw that I have, and I fell asleep under that and I stayed there the whole night and it was so good. 
So yeah, I just wear my nightdress or if I fall asleep in whatever I fall asleep in, you know, I wear that to bed. Nikes or Adidas? I think I've answered that question too in the last one. I think I'd have to go with Nike. I find that they're like a better brand, I don't know, and they have more styles for some reason. Cheetos or Fritos? I do not know what Fritos are, so I'd have to go with Cheetos. What was your first concert? What was my first concert? It had to be in Alberta, I think, and when I was like 13 or 15. Or no, Ignition! It's like a YC thing, like it's like a church thing. And where I used to be such, like going into church and stuff like that. I went to a condition. It was for YC 2000 and something. I don't really recall or whatnot. So, yeah, it was a condition. I remember that day. Um, peanuts or sunflower seeds? I rather peanuts over sunflower seeds because you got like to chew that stuff off and then ugh, it gets too messy. Ever hear of the group Tresbrien? No. And I'm not from Montreal or Quebec or any type of French land. I'm from Newfoundland. Do you ever take dance lessons? Yes, I did take dance lessons for a good couple of years of my life. I took hip hop and I loved it. And then mom just like seen like no like, you know, use of keeping me in it. Um, do you wear a bathrobe? Yes, I like to wear a bathrobe. It's like, I don't know, it's a comfort thing as well. What profession would you like to have? Quite frankly, I don't know what profession I'd like to have. I know that I want to do something with kids, so I'm thinking early childhood education or something like, I wouldn't do like pediatrician. I'm not that talented enough to be a doctor or a nurse or like, you know, or whatnot. So would probably do like with something with daycare or foster care or something like that. Um, can you curl your tongue? Mm-hmm. Mm, I can curl my tongue. Obviously. <laughs> um, ever want a spelling bee? Never partic participated in any type of spelling bee in my school. And I don't think we did have any spelling bees in my school to participate in. Um, ever cried because you were happy? Yes. All the time. Own any record albums? Like... I don't know if that means vinyl records, which is no, but I do own a few CDs. And own a record player, no, and I do own a CD player, and I can play my CDs in my DVD player as well. Um, been in love, well duh, like obviously. Um, do you burn incense or candles? Yes, I like to burn some candles every now and then, it's great, it's relaxing. And since not so much because I have allergies with certain scented products, so I would um, not like really burn them as much as a scented candle. Um, who would you like to see in concert? Man, that list can go on forever. Like really, I'd like to see like Shania Twain or like Reba or like Kelly Clarkson or like maybe even Britney Spears for God's sake. I was a fan of hers when I was like a young kid. So, I would like to see a lot of people. Last concert you saw. Um, if Jeff Dunham is a concert, well that was like a show. I seen, I went to Yuck Yucks on Friday and that was the last video I posted. So that would have to be like the last concert -y type of thing that I've seen. Hot or cold tea? I think I like both. I like, I like iced tea and I like Hot tea. Hot tea is good for like in the morning and in the winter, fallish. And then cold tea is good for like the summer, springtime. Tea or coffee? I would have to go with tea because I I don't know. I became like a tea kind of sewer or kind of sayer over the last couple of years, and I really loved it. Um, sugar cookies or snickerdoodles? What in the hell is a snickerdoodle? If you know what a snickerdoodle is. Please post it in the comment section below. So I would have to go with sugar cookies because I did not have a snickerdoodle in all of my life. Can I swim? Yes, I can. In a pool or a pond? I'd rather swim in a pool. In a pond, you don't really know where you're going. You don't know how deep it is. And I kind of have a fear of swimming in a pond. And then I'm going to end up... Um, <coughs> drowning or something like that. 
Can you hold your breath without plugging your nose? Um, yes. Like, my nose is not plugged. I can't do that too often. I have asthma. And I'm not about to have an asthma attack. Um, are you patient? I would have to say absolutely not. I am the most, well, not the most impatient person. But I am impatient in one sense because, like, I don't know when things don't go my way or like I don't have patience for this or patience for that like if I see you doing something slow I'm just gonna be like get the hell out of the way I want to finish that myself I'm just that type of person DJ band for a wedding DJ or band for a wedding I think I'd have to go to DJ a band would be a little expensive DJ can play almost any type of music the band only plays the music that you or that they actually play or they actually perform so yeah, I would have to go to DJ. DJs are more better. Ever won a contest? Well, yeah, I did. And it was pretty awesome. Um, sorry, I just get freaked out in the nighttime. Um, I won tickets to Yuck Yucks. I, that's the last contest thing that I won, if that is anything. Um, ever have or ever had or have wanted plastic surgery? Everybody wants plastic surgery. They want to fix something in their body, but I haven't had plastic surgery. And I, you know, everybody wants it every now and then. Which is better, black or green olives? I haven't tasted both, so I really don't know. Can you knit or crochet? Yes, I can knit a little bit and I can crochet a little bit. I would like to expand my knitting and crocheting in order to actually get a little better at it. So maybe I can do my own things like, you know, gloves or socks or shirts or whatever. So yeah, um, are you married? Common law married people and it's technically still like a marriage and for how long I would say six years because or six and a half years because it takes six months in order for you to actually get to claim common law um, do you cry or throw a fit when you don't get your own way when I was a kid I did a lot of that now as an adult not so much do you have kids um, I have a few angels in heaven. Do you want kids? Yes. I wish that one of my, I wish that my kids that I've passed on, you know, have, was here like with me. Um, and it's really hard to like talk about that. That's why my voice is weird with that. Favorite colors, anything happy like yellows. I like blues, purples. I'm a girl, you know, I like pink, stuff like that. White, I find white is just a clear canvas. And, um, the color white is just, you know, a blank canvas, and it's like, you know, something that you're supposed to color on, so I don't really like white that much, but I like colors, yes, and I do have favorite ones. Do you miss anyone right now? My family that are away, of course, duh, and my father, who is in heaven, and he will be you know, passed away for nine years this year, so next year will be ten years. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not gonna get like crying like I did in a couple of videos ago. Every now and then, you know, like that's what happens. Favorite pastimes? This is question 100. Oh my gosh. What do you do when bored? Let's see. I do videos when I'm bored. I also read. I I, you know, I try and plan out my next week of videos when I'm bored. I like reading or going on the computer or watching TV or, you know, going on the tablet, you know, tuning into my favorite YouTubers on YouTube. And I just like, I don't know, I like going on my like phone when I'm bored. I like giving people a call when I'm bored. I don't know, there's lots of things to do when you're bored going for a walk. I really need to start doing that a little more frequently. Maybe that's something I can incorporate when I'm bored and whatnot. But yeah, like, my thing is, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you guys do when you're bored? Leave that question or answer to that question in the comments section below and I will be sure to reply to every single one of you. So that will be it for part two. 
I know a long time coming for part two, but it's good I think to break them up a little bit. I will be by on Wednesday with another video. And a Friday I'm going to be doing a question and answer. So leave your questions also in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer those. Or you can like go on my Instagram. I have my Instagram, my Twitter. I have my Facebook group and stuff like that down below. So I am going to be doing a question and answer video on Friday. It's gonna be more of like a casual Friday type of thing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So sorry that it was taking so forever long to get back to you guys with part two. I just took, you know, like, like I said in my last video, I'm dealing with some things with my family and stuff like that right now. So sometimes I may have to like, like mentally prepare or whatever, but you know, I'm doing a little better than what I was. So therefore I, that's why also too, I need to start getting back in the swing of things. So I would like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys liked this video and please give that a like. It's over this way or over this way. Sometimes the camera does a weird switchy roo type of thing. So um, go and give my video a like. If you want to stick by and subscribe, you can also click that. Please share this video with your friends. Actually share the channel with your friends. and. I am going to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday's topic is going to be 10 video tips. It's like my like 10 video tips on making an awesome video and like how you present yourself. Yes, I know sometimes I don't present myself like that well but I'll get more into that in that video. So I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great day and I love you all. Bye.